Hi, I'm Matt, and I'll be presenting our work on temporally consistent 3D human pose estimation using dual 360 degree cameras. Human pose estimation has many applications, most prominently in entertainment production. Here, we can assume a well-lit person circled by a substantial amount of cameras, and in this setting, systems such as Iskakov et al. or Zhang et al. can produce amazing results. Outside these studios, remote filming often limits the amount of capture hardware present. Single camera systems, such as Tom et al. and Pavlo et al. offer a solution here. However, these systems have an inherent depth ambiguity due to their single view, and also offer limited scene coverage. Our work aims to sit between these systems. By using a pair of 360 degree cameras, we offer total scene coverage and can resolve depth ambiguities. By stacking these cameras vertically, we maintain portability as well as minimizing the footprint of the camera rig compared to four or more calibrated cameras. Our method begins with a pair of equirectangular videos from our vertical pair. We obtain 2D joint belief maps using open pose, which we approximate as Gaussians. We then perform a two-stage estimation, starting with a principal component analysis-based estimate and refined using an iterative smoothing method. For the initial estimate, we construct an error function that takes our PCA parameters, along with rotation and translation values, and attempt to minimize this error function using SARAs. The function itself primarily attempts to minimize the reprojection error, epsilon proj, as well as rotation and translation from the previous frame if present. To complement this, we add functions epsilon size, which acts to constrain limbs towards the skeletal centroid, and epsilon length, that regulates the individual bone lengths. After obtaining the estimate, we use the iterative smoother to remove any large movements caused by inaccurate input information. Specifically, we attempt to move each joint towards collinearity with its temporal neighbours. As before, we minimise our error function using Sarah's. However, in this case, we optimise each joint in terms of absolute 3D position, allowing for poses not seen by the PCA model. For our results, we use the panoptic dataset using a pair of cameras close to vertically aligned. We supplement this with synthetic data. We compare against two multi-view pose estimation systems, Iskukov et al. and Scheer et al., and against two monocular systems, Tom et al. and Pavlo et al. We also include naive triangulation as a baseline. Our protocol 1 results are mean per joint position error using raw joint locations, while protocol 2 measures our MPJPE after performing Procrustes analysis. For protocol 1, we produce reasonable results, particularly given the low baseline distance of 30 cm on the synthetic dataset. Monocular systems also tended to perform well, however the multi-view systems perform poorly, potentially due to requirements for horizontally displaced cameras and or larger baselines. Note we were unable to obtain results for Iskakov on the synthetic data due to lack of calibration information. For protocol 2, we see much the same scenario. On the panoptic data, our results are close to a naive triangulation due to the large baseline, but as the baseline reduces, our results remain feasible while triangulation becomes inaccurate. We also investigate the effect of our smoothing, measuring the distance of the mid-hip joint from the camera throughout the scene. In red is the triangulated data, which appears very jittery. In blue is our initial solve, which is smoother but still has large distance changes. In black is the smoothed result, which shows only one large-scale jump. We now present qualitative results. On the left-hand side are the input cameras, on the top right is the virtual camera, and on the lower right is a top-down overview of the scene where the input cameras are in the middle, the virtual camera is behind the input camera, and the person tracks will appear as the scene progresses. An additional result in an outdoor environment with two people. Finally, a comparison on panoptic data. This time, two unused reference cameras are on the right-hand side. Time et al is in green, ours is in red, and the ground truth is in white. In conclusion, we have presented a highly portable 3D human pose estimation system operating from a 30 cm baseline and working natively with 360 degree video, allowing total scene coverage with minimal cameras. For future work, we would like to adapt the system to arbitrary fields of view, rather than specifically 360 degree, to avoid expensive reprojection operations to work with perspective imagery. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to any questions.